Oh boy. This is really getting tiring. I do not want to keep narrating this again and again and again and again and again. Because, oh. Uh, uh, I don't know, I'm literally tired. I've had to try and narrate this for like an hour beforehand and then basically I did like my live narration so now I did a post narration and yeah. So this is a post narration. Also the actual video was actually an hour long but I'm very sure anybody on YouTube well, about 90% of YouTube would not want to see a hour video of me smashing spirits left and right unless it was a a Minecraft Wii task video or a Banjo Kazooie task video or a some test one or some game like Crash Bandicoot or something like that but yeah so I'm just gonna basically show you what I've been doing for the past hour well yeah for the past hour about 10 or so minutes through, but about 13 minutes through, I'm gonna like let you know when I cut the, the, when I cut the video because I I usually cut it from around turn two and I skip all the way to turn five. So this will be a fairly short video. The reason why I cut the video is because pretty much the first 40 minutes when I was recording at the time was just me doing this and that. So. I mean, I know how most people are on YouTube, they don't like to watch lengthy videos for some odd reason, like if it's, let's just say for example Pokemon Battles, if it was say a 15 minute battle, they probably wouldn't watch it, unless it was a 6 minute video then they'd probably watch it. I don't know why people don't like to watch slightly longer videos than that, because usually they're the ones that are really good matches, because it's harder to take down your opponent and there's also more room for in-depth mind, um, in-depth analysis and thought process. But th that's just how people are. If it's short, they'll watch it. If it's long, they won't. So, you know what? Why would I bother making a long video of Fire Emblem when I can make it 22 minutes long? Anyways, I am rambling. So, basically, right here, I was just making sure that my majors were at the front I was leaving Har at the top left hand side of the screen because of his low res and Gareth at the top because I don't want my spirits to reach him but spirits have unlimited reach so unfortunately I have to make my units cover him at some point in this video and I hope you're enjoying the Pokemon music I put down there I figured it was much better than buying the music at the time so yeah so, I'm going to battle save it here, just in case. Thank goodness this game has that feature or else it would be annoying like Fire Emblems. Um, Fire Emblem, Ra no, Fire Emblem Path of Radiance, that game doesn't allow you to battle save. And you have to flawlessly complete each chapter without losing a unit, which is quite annoying. There was some levels, especially near the the level where you fight the Dark Knight, no, the Dark Knight, the Black Knight, had to restart. I had to restart that one like six times because I wanted to defeat the Black Knight to get that true ending. All right, so basically, since these don't appear in like the full, the full um. Like, you know when you're facing a proper unit, you don't get that because they, these aren't really proper units, so you have to fight them while on the stage. Yeah, I don't know if you got that bit, but mo any Fire Emblem fans would know that, so yeah. I mean, I don't know, I don't think any person who isn't a Fire Emblem fan would be watching this if they are, hello. But, nah, I, I would figure, you know, I mean, I don't get that much views, it's like, what? couple like a hundred or so I don't know oh yeah a, fun, a funny thing is is that say you have like 2,000 say like you have 2,000 subscribers but only a thousand if not less than that watch it it's kind of weird isn't it they just subscribe and then they just don't do anything <laughs> anyway we've got some adept flare going on so we should be able to take out this wind spirit in one shot and we do 
Alright, so that's gone. Alright, so we're about five minutes throughout the video and we still haven't gotten to Sephiroth yet. Basically, we've been trying to take out... Ooh, critical. We're trying to take out these uh, spirits. Uh, I need a drink. Hold on. When you try and narrate for like an hour and a bit, your voice does not hold up. So you better have a good cup of water, <laughs> for, in my case, just to get that throat still going or else I'm going to dry out like a cactus in the desert. It also affects, also affects my voice a little bit. It makes it... I mean, personally, the way I comprehend my voice when I'm in this state, it's much different than my usual voice. And then there's my morning voice, which I would probably say is the best voice because it makes my voice even deeper than it should be, which I like. But I've never usually had the chance to use that voice in my animations. Usually it's sometime in the evening when my voice is at its highest, which is annoying. It makes me sound, it makes me sound like a 15 year old, which I'm not. I'm much older than that. I'm over 20. Most of you would know my age already, but most of you don't. So, if you know, if you would, if you would like to know my age, then whatever. But actually, should I, should I even matter? I, I don't know. It should, it shouldn't matter. But yeah, I'm over twenty. So yeah. But how old over twenty? That's for you guys to guess. Okay. So that's our enemy phase, and yes, in this. Phase, all the fire spirits were technically going after Gareth because he had the lowest res. Luckily, Pavis kicked in about two times, as you saw, that was the first time. So, Pavis should kick in one more time somewhere in between, which really, really saved Gareth. Because if it wasn't for Pavis, then, well, Gareth would have been knocked out much sooner. See, that, that was the second time. So, without those two times, I'm pretty sure one more hit from any spirit would have knocked it out. Oh yeah, I didn't realise that Sephiroth had an area of attack sometime here. You, you know, like a... Wait, I remember hearing Deg... Degancy. It wasn't Degancy. That's not how you pronounce it. Is it... Yeah, it, it it's Degancy. That's how I heard them say it in the cutscene, which I've cut out because I'm not sure if you guys like to see cutscenes. Like, if you wanted to see a cutscene, you'll probably search it, but... I left it out just because of lengthy reasons. I don't think you guys would usually watch that anyway. So, uh, excuse me. I've had some crisps. They're really nice. What flavor are they? Um, the Mexican Fury Sweet Chipotle. Is it Chipotle? Chipotle? Chipotle. I don't know how to say it, but I think that's how you say it. Chipotle. But yeah, it's, a, it's very good. Sensations, crisps, and the, the Walker's brand. So yeah, really, really good crisps. Much better than sweet and sour, that's for sure. Alright, so Soren is doing some work. And it takes no damage. So yeah. Ma mages really do well against spirits, just to say, because spirits usually go on the magic stat so I'm keeping my dragons well out of his way just to not go down because I would I would like it to do I would like to do ooh adept but then again one hit was needed yeah I'd really like all my units not to die because I'm just that kind of person being a perfectionist okay so we're on turn two and we're still not at that part yet so Mm. I'll, let, I'll let you know when it happens like you know I just I just cut out something in the middle because the video the actual recording took about an hour long and most of it was just me battering the spirits down use, using my mages and me pretty much sounding a little bit tired because I don't know the last three videos were different but recently after learning something I realized that um, actually, I'm not going to disclose that. Basically, my narrations, my live narrations, have been a bit... Uh, it's not energetic enough. I mean, those I had my hyper moments beforehand, but now, like now, 
I don't feel very lively and I just couldn't do it in my live narration so I've got a a little bit better I think this should be a bit better in my post commentary that I'm doing right now oh got an impale but then again it's always activating when you really don't really need it because you have to just hit it normally to KO it but no they like to be flashy that's the thing about computers in this game they always activate their mastery skills like when their opponent has like 2 HP or 3 HP instead of doing it from 4 HP when it really matters because then you just take longer to kill the enemy don't know why this game does that but anyway um, my computer it's 20% this this laptop is really old actually because I've had it for about three years now I think and I don't really want to get a new laptop I want to try and grow this out as long as it can and so far it's done a really good job but I foresee the future and I don't think this laptop is going to survive another year or two so I might have to look into that anyways I'm going to use Mikhail who doesn't get attacked by the spirits and I'm going to use her to take down the spirits you know I could actually solo run this with Makaya but one it'll take really long especially if I was recording which I am and two um the spirits won't actually go for it they'll just go for my other units and I have to make sure they are healthy or else they're gonna die and that's not good because I'm a perfectionist and I don't want units to fall down you know this is this, this is sort of like a hundred percent live characters units that do not need to die because of my carelessness okay so um thunder tail that's probably the attack they use oh yeah nasa being a white dragon has really high res so i could also use nasir to Solo run this alongside my kayak, but I'm not. I'm not going to do that, obviously, because that's just too long. I mean, mages are doing fine. They only take about one to five damage each. Well, it depends. I mean, if it was Sanaki, for example, I think she'd take five, and yeah, she'll take about. Actually, she'll take about one, but most of us will usually take about five. It it depends on what spirit you use. You're facing against whether it's wind, fire, or electric. But overall, they don't do that much. Not, not enough to the point where every spirit would target it, which is impossible because the spirits are basically targeting my dragon. So, nah, Sanaki won't be taking any damage whatsoever. Not even noticeable damage for me to be much of a concern. Okay, so Ha's still sitting there in the top left-hand corner, you know, talking to Jill with Mist in the middle. And here I'm gonna keep Gareth healthy because you know next if I don't do that then he's gone and I don't want him to go because Gareth might be useful. Plus I don't you know obviously I don't want to have any character gone. I've already said that like two times already. So I'm gonna heal soft because some CPU some CPU units can be very sneaky and they end up switching direction towards someone else and then you'll be like what wait I could have sworn he was going for this character now he's going for that character and I'm completely confuzzled anyways I think here is sometime around here is that I'm gonna I'm gonna like go from turn 2 to turn 5 because the last 3 were just long yeah and here he is okay so we're in turn 5 you know this, this, is, this is pretty much a summary of what I'm doing rather than a whole episode because usually my last few episodes were just actual real-time cuts but this one's actually not all right so now we're gonna fight Sephiroth for once all right so Sephiroth's going in with Rex Calibur and I can't pronounce is that Credi I would say Credi like Cred ah I can't speak just thumping outside my door Okay, it's called Credi Lad. I'm gonna say like that. And that does like one more might than I do. But it's it's pretty good. It's about it's like a um, let's see, 14. And, that's a four hit KO. It's not bad, but I can only make Soren move twice at least once. 
a turn. So I should have enough as long as I get rid of that spirit because I think if Sephiroth's about to go down, the spirit somehow redirects your attack to it and it takes your hit. Which is bad because we don't want to attack the spirit, we want to attack Sephiroth in order to complete the chapter. So, Shinon's low on health, we're gonna take the time to to heal it. And I swear, if that thumping doesn't stop, I'm gonna go AWOL. Alright, so... Mikaya is going to... Uh, Mikaya is going to attack... No, I'm taking Saniki to attack the spirits, because Saniki won't attack Sephiroth. And neither will Sephiroth attack Saniki, because, you know... Saniki was like a foster child towards Sephiroth, making Sephiroth the foster dad, or foster parent. I mean, she bas he basically raised her in some manner that she, ca she can't bring herself to attack him. So, I just used her to attack the spirits. Alright, so after Erica does, does a bit of work on that spirit, I'm, I think at this point I was going to use... Um, I, I ultimately use um, Ileana to attack that last remaining spirit. In the meanwhile, I'm going to be using uh, Nephany to do some long range shots at Sephiroth, but unfortunately range weapons are also the same re range weapons as a Tome, and a Tome magic is going to hit me as back. So yeah. I still have yet to use. No, actually, I haven't. Have I used you yet? I thought. No, I haven't used the Heron yet. I guess I use him, but at first, he's, he's going to talk to uh, Sephiron. Mm. <laughs> Are you sure you're part of the Heron tribe? <laughs> of course he is. Does he not look like a Heron? Alright, so now we're going to go for Viga. That's how I say it. It sounds much better. You know, instead of saying Viga, you say Viga. It sounds a bit more, you know. Mm, you know. Okay, so... 17 minutes in. I'm looking at my timeline. I've got about 17... 39, 41, 42... It may be different on YouTube because, you know... I'm just reading it for my Vegas. Okay, so, yeah, here's where I ultimately use Ileana to strike down that fire spirit because it does exactly 20 and 20 is what we need to take out this spirit. Which means Sephiron is wide open completely. And I think I was checking around, I was messing around with the stats, looking at his stats, and then I see this gem that I was looking at and I was like, hmm, interesting. Alright, so... Now he's completely wide open, which means no spirit near his range is going to be redirected towards it, and that means it's a free, it's a free shot. And I have to, I have to knock him out in one turn, because if you don't, he recovers all of his health, which is a pain in the ass to be honest. So we got all our units here, trying to hit Sephiron. Unfortunately. I think I think Kurf misses once and gets doubled. Which is bad because I would have liked the extra damage. Although he did take this hit quite well. I mean another assault would probably knock him out, but we're not gonna allow that extra turn. Because like this this is pretty much a turn where it's like, okay, if I don't knock you out now, I'm gonna have to reset my whole chapter and do it again. So I was just basically going all out. I was like, okay, screw this. I'm, I've, got, I've got my units right there. I'm going to literally launch a full frontal assault on him until he gets until he goes down. And I had to do it in this turn. That required that was a personal requirement I had to do. Alright, so he's at 15 HP. My units are weak, but I'm not going to allow another turn for that to happen, so. I bring in Nephany again for an, another assault and I was looking at the the screen there and I see that I will be able to live on one and since he can't critical hit me and because he didn't 
activate Corona as well. I was lucky for that not to happen actually. After able to get off some sort of damage and live in one. That one HP live. But then again, you, you know, this is fixed damage. It's not like Pokemon where you have min and max damage variants, so it's alright. Okay, and lastly, I use Mikaya to finish off the job. And then that would basically be it. So, the final attack launched on Sephiroth. And this one is going to be it. This will seal the deal. Alright, so now he's finally fainted. Using Pokemon terms there. Wink, wink. And we also gain another level up, which is another Pokemon reference, wink wink. And we get some EVs, not exactly EVs, but then again using another reference for the, for the third time, wink wink. Alright, so we finally take him out, and I think we've got a few extra. We got this little cutscene, well it's not exactly a cutscene, but it's, a, it's an in-game cutscene. Which shouldn't last more than two minutes. Ooh, unit is speaking. Wait, how many? Thirty-six percent. Oh, okay, it's rising. So I was looking at my battery power there, I was thinking that isn't rising, but it is rising. Oh, we get the Rudol gem. I've just remembered that bit. The item that raises your defense by plus 10. Which will help her because, um, you know, her defense, her defense isn't the best thing in the world. The bad thing is that we don't get it earlier. I mean, if we got it much, much earlier, if we had hacked it, which I don't, I don't even know how to hack away to be honest. I'm that bad. But that's because I've never tried to. Apart from, Re apart from revolution, but revolution isn't exactly a hack. It's just something that was, it's basically given to you, and you can do whatever you want with it. So, well, within your own folder, you have this folder where you can put textures and music into it. But that's as much as I've done to it. So anyway, uh, that'll be it. I think yeah, we've got about a few seconds left, so I may as well say my goodbyes now. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please give it a like and subscribe if you have if you're a new viewer on this channel. Then you know you can check out my other videos as well and such. And that will be it. I will. I'm not, I'm not sure if I've if I'll upload this earlier or later, but. Pretty sure Mario Kart V video is before this, if not then it will be after, if not then you can check it out, you know, in my uploads. Anyway, yeah, we get this Rudolph gem and we're going to replace Elite with it because I hardly use that tome. And I'm going to conclude it there. So yeah, I'll catch you guys some other time and peace.